Call me up for a meeting, so I have to attend before I come and see you, Aunt Julia. All right, no problem. All right, thank you. Where are you? All right, all right, no problem. Why we are here today is for us to know when we start sharing our brother's properties. But the lawyer is wasting too much time to re uh, reading the will. But the lawyer has already told us that Jack and everything to the sunshine. Okay. Why are we worrying our heads to protect him? Ha! Brother hated us so much! <sighs> By the way, where is that boy? I mean, where is that boy? Brother, this one that you start asking after the will. Today, have you finally made up your mind to keep the boy? Yes, of course. As the oldest man in this family, it is my responsibility to take care of that boy. So, Angelin, bring that boy to my house. Did you hear me? Brother. Bring him to my house. Brother, why the sudden change of mind? How dare you ask me that kind of a question? Are you more related to him than to me? I'm just wondering what's going on because I intend to keep him in a protective cot study until I find something out for him. Oh, and you think you can protect him more than I can do? Yes, of course, because you said that before. Look at Angela. Angela, Ma, where is Jim? I'm sorry, I can't disclose where he is for security reasons. What nonsense are you talking about? <laughs> Listen, Angela, I'm old enough to be your father even though I'm your senior brother. Have you lost your senses? No more respect. You can't even listen again. Angela, brother is supposed to be the one to keep that boy, not you. Well, I'm sorry. With due respect, I will not part you. I'll let's take my leave now. See Angela, later. Angela, come here. Bring that boy to my house, this man. Did you hear me? I said, bring that boy to my You started your own. This was how Jack started when he was alive. Um, he, he never had me one day. Look at it now. Where is he now? You started your own. Small rat. I'm talking. You cannot listen to me.
Where's the boy? And even the girl? My friend, where is your partner? Well, well, we were intercepted by, by the police. And, and they shot, they shot Solo. What? I, I guess they must have taken him to this police station. And the girl. Did I hear you say the girl too? Yes, Chief. Shoot you! Oh God, I regret ever having to introduce you fools to anybody! Do you know what you're doing? But it, it wasn't my fault! And who's fault? Again. Why? Since my brother and his wife died, they thought you know myself and rested. The police they are aware of it and they don't give it, they don't give it this thing a serious thing. Well remember, I'm a policeman. And I will follow this case to its logical conclusion. I promise. So you cannot make anything out. The best option is for myself and Junior to leave town for a while. Because the commissioner of police is involved, and any more involvement from you, you just just make you lose your job. Well, uh, gentlemen. From the way things are. We have to go extra mile to get the ball. It is obvious Chief Eze has failed us. Excuse me? I am failing. Now the boys you didn't introduce to me failed us. Alright? But as far as I'm concerned, the chase is still on. Alright? And I won't rest until I get those boys. I will not rest. For how long, Chief Eze? How long is it going to take you? It doesn't matter how long. Okay, gentlemen, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Please sit down. I'm taking over from here. Going to use my men and our facilities on ground to track them down. So there's no cause for alarm. I can throw in some soldiers if you want. Oh, no, 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 General. Don't say that. That can't work. It will only arouse curiosity. What will the people say? Oh, no, but what would they think? Say, say, say. It, it, it doesn't matter what, what parameter facilities we use. All we need is we must get that boy. And that boy must. 
God, no point for argument. Gentlemen, why do we still argue on this? I think we still have our Jack's brother on our side. Oh. Why don't you use him if need be? I think that's a very good point. I do not want to see them anywhere now. You just shut up and listen up after all we're in this together. Thank you. Go into your room yes, and make sure you keep that money. Okay. So do that. Because the things have changed for better. You can see my new look. <clears throat> this is just ninety thousand naira. It's for you alone. Just have it. Ah. No, why? I can't accept this money. Me, brother, please. Where do you get all this money from? Because have you forgotten I play coupon? Yeah, I know you play coupon. Fine, only yesterday I won three million naira, <laughs> and God just used this money to shame all these people who think that I cannot be able to take care of Gino. And besides, you know how close both of us have been in the family, among every other person. You know, we are just tell our tempers, don't you know? So oh, just have this, and God, have this. <laughs> It's just, uh, what is it, 90,000? More or better things will come. Thank you, brother. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah, I'm not. Um, by the way, Ngozi, where did the Angela keep Gino? You know? I don't know. Because you are not telling me the truth. Because you are the only person Angela confides in. Yes, brother, but what do you want to know? I am the oldest man in this family. And it is my responsibility to train up Gino. And besides, Angela is the youngest child of her mother, yet unmarried. Don't you know that it could happen that, that tomorrow she may have one useless lover? A young man may take her away. And she know, you know, she has all the documents belonging to her late brother. Every uh, of her brother's documents is with her now. Those that Junior supposed to have. And you know, we are going to lose everything if that is not taken. So the earlier we start checking her, the better. Don't you think so? You are very correct. But I don't know where Angela took Junior to. You mean she is so stubborn that she did not even disclose to you. You have all people in Gaza. You don't miss it. She didn't tell me anything. She didn't what? tell me anything. There's no problem. Uh, but uh, I know that things have started changing. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, if she tells me, I'll tell you. You can see with uh, me. I'm happy for things you. Things have started changing. For Let me go and get you something. Okay, good. I'm waiting. Oh, brother, thank you so much. Taken over the entire state. I'm going to Abuja right away to report to my former boss, the AIG. You know, I, I was his personal assistant and I worked closely with him for about six years. It's also a born again, Christian. Are we going to stay here alone? Well, you, you don't need to be scared. I'll be leaving with the first flight and then I'll be back by noon. I've already called him on the phone and I think uh, it's ready to help out. There's everything you need. 
his house and the kitchen is stocked full with foodstuffs and drinks. Nobody knows that you are here, except those that you've told. You must not leave this house. Is that clear? But if for any reason you want to leave, use the back exit. There are eyes all over the neighborhood. I know your photograph has been flashed on, on, on the town. So you must be very careful. Is that clear? Mr. Chris is my name. I'm from the police state headquarters. So what can I do for you? Yeah, um, we are searching for this lady. In connection with a kidnapping. She kidnapped a little boy called Jack Jr. An information reaching us says she's been seen around the neighborhood. Do you know me? No, sir. I'm ex Stanley of the Era in command. And I think somebody of my status would never have a such a criminal of such status in my house or this neighborhood. This is more serious than I thought. You are fighting with a very powerful and organized people. They, they, they even changed their tactics. I met one out there now. They are searching the entire neighborhood from room to room. They even declare you wanted on air. They are really desperate about it. But there's something we can do to stop them. What is it? Look, Angela. To protect you, we must fight back. And that's by implicating them and then busting the Blackwood nonsense and bringing them to put for murder charges. How on earth are you going to achieve that? So their membership includes government officials, to commission of police, and even top businessmen and women in this society. Sit down, sit down. 
Prepare something for you and your, uh, your small brother. Eh? This is your house. Feel free. Get up. Go to the kitchen and get something, please. Eh? Please just get up. Go to the kitchen and get something for you and your brother. Eh? Just get up, my dear. Junior, you know, get, get up. up. Just Angela, get up. Go to the kitchen. Just prepare something for you. Please do. Come prepare something for you and Junior. is interested in this case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about 10 of these men are coming in from Abuja today. Yeah, they want to follow this rich for list and then investigate them properly. And as I forgot, that's about Junior. It's fine, okay, it's alright, it's alright. I'll call you as soon as they come to town today. It's okay. Alright.
much of food? How much of money? So, so familiar, but I've I've met before. It's exactly what I'm trying to remember, sir. I I, I know we've met before, but where and when is is what I can I can remember. Yeah, yeah, you have, you have a striking face. Yes, you're you're Mr. Stanley. You know, Superintendent Stanley. You're, you're a police officer. Of course officer. I am. Oh, uh, actually, sir, um, like three years ago, your, your boys arrested me for, for, for stealing... Stealing and kidnapping. And then the, the people you commit a crime for muzzled their will into the commissioner's office and bail you. Uh, but if you, if you can remember vividly, I, I advise you to stay off crime. But I know you never did. Not, not, not really, sir. Actually, sir, well, when, when he gave me the advice, I, I didn't take it seriously because I was, I was overwhelmed by the calibers of people I worked for, and and the money was so encouraging. You're making so much do. Yes, sir. And uh, I, I thank God I'm a changed person now. I, I no longer work with them. But just, uh, just a few days ago, sir, the same advice you gave to me uh, made, made a new meaning to me. When um, a, a man a man paid me to kidnap a little boy, and, um, which I failed. So he, he, he did this to me. What? How, how did it happen and who are these men that you're working for? Sir, actually I, I've been looking for a way to see you so that we can, can really sit down and, and talk. But this place is not conducive, so I would appreciate if we go somewhere else where, where we will have you know, privacy and talk. Well, why don't you finish your phone and I'll wait? Oh, no, sir. I, Angela. Angela, come. Come. It's okay, it's okay. Just calm, just calm. Calm down. And this is Rocky. He has been very useful to me. He's been giving me every useful information that I need. To arrest those bombers. Those guys that want to kidnap your nephew. So he's friendly with me. He, he, he's one of the people that kidnapped me. I want to calm down. It's okay. Hi. I'm, 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 so, I'm so sorry for everything I've put you through. Actually, I, I, I was used by those people. And like I told Mrs. Stanley, I'm going to do everything within my reach to make sure they don't get your nephew. Once again, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry for everything I've put you through, okay? I'm a changed person now. I'm a changed person now.
we all are going to work as a team. You understand me? And like I said earlier, those men are coming in from Abuja first thing tomorrow morning. So we all are going to bust into them, arrest them, and make sure they're persecuted and they're sentenced to jail. Is that clear? So let's go to our office. Good afternoon, sir. I'm XP Stanley from the Iraqi Command. You are under arrest in connection with the kidnap of Judge Juno early hour this morning. I did not kidnap him. It's my small brother. I took him to his father's friend. I did not kidnap him. Where did you take him to? For his father's friend for safekeep. He told me he would take care of him. Tell me the truth. I'll shoot you now. That is the truth I'm telling you. I did not kidnap him. Yes. And where is the place? It's somewhere in uh, downtown in Lagos. Yes, sir. A lot of time. And this is a car. My brother's friend, dashed, dashed me, that friend dashed. Information reaching us that they bought you a new car. And I guess this is a car because there's no number. And rented a new apartment for you. This is the apartment. Is that not so? Now get into the car. Get into the car! Get into the car. Get into the car. Get into the car. Move it.
1, verse 15 says, On the day the agreed one shall be offered to the supreme one of the black hood, the heart shall be blocked off and the blood shall be drained and offered unto the supreme one of the black hood. Come on. 